If you ever wonder what is an MQTT protocol in IoT is all about and how MQTT protocol works, then this video will help you understand. MQTT is a message queuing telemetry transport protocol, widely used in IoT for device to server and server to client communication. Because MQTT works in publish and subscribe mechanism, it is one of the most popular lightweight protocol which suits very well for IoT. This video is sponsored by Altium Software. Altium is the PCB design tool I used in my very first job when I was working for a company in Germany. Using Altium gives you two advantages in my opinion. One is that you can really build a professional skills and the second one is you can not only build a simple small circuit but you can build a really complex high speed electronic circuit using Altium PCB design. So claim your free trial today with the link in a video description or somewhere in a comment section and I'm sure you will enjoy working with Altium. Before we get into advantages of an MQTT protocol, let's explore how MQTT works. Let's take an example to understand the working of an MQTT protocol. Let's say we have a three web client, namely client one, client two, and client three. Here, client one is in India, and client two is in the United States, and client three is in Germany. Now, when the client one wants to send messages to client two and client three, then client one will publish message to an MQTT server. Here, publish mechanism is used to send messages. And because client two and client three is subscribed to an MQTT server, they will receive that messages. Here, subscribe mechanism is used for client 2 and client 3 to receive messages published by client 1. This communication is possible because all clients are connected to a same central server which is a public MQTT server. This MQTT server can be accessible from anywhere in the world. In this communication, any client can send messages to any other client. Let's say if client 3 publish message and client 1 and client 2 is subscribed then they will receive that messages published by client 3. This is a typical client and server communication which uses MQTT protocol to publish and subscribe messages back and forth. Now let's design IoT architecture using MQTT protocol. Here we have LM35 temperature sensor which is connected to Node MCU as a hardware client 1. And we have given a topic named device slash temp to LM35, a kind of address to represent a sensor. Now, when Node MCU, which is a client 1, will publish temperature value 28 degrees Celsius, the client 2 and client 3 will receive that 28 degrees Celsius because they both have subscribed to device slash temp topic. So, in this case, we can monitor temperature data in a real time using MQTT protocol. Now, when it comes to controlling devices, say for example, we have an LED which is connected to Node MCU ESP8266. And we can assign a topic name device slash LED for an LED. Now, when any client, either client 2 or client 3, publish message on, on topic device slash LED, then LED will turn on. And when any client from client 2 or client 3 publish message off on topic device slash LED, then LED will turn off. This is how MQTT uses publish and subscribe mechanism in IoT to control and monitor devices remotely from anywhere in the world. Let me revisit some key concepts learned in this lesson. Before we use them in our future projects to control and monitor devices remotely from anywhere in the world using MQTT protocol. Now publish. Publish is a mechanism used in MQTT to send the messages. Okay, so publish, we used to send message to control some device, right? So that's why we used to publish message on on device slash LED when we want to control the LED. Subscribe. Subscribe is the mechanism used to receive the data. So usually we subscribe to a topic which is basically, say for example, in our case, we subscribe to topic device slash temp because we want to receive the data coming from the client, right? So basically subscribe, we usually use subscribe to the sensor topic so that we can monitor the data. So publish is to send means to control and subscribe is to receive the data means to monitor the sensor data. You can understand something like this. And topic is basically an address is basically a kind of name that is given to a particular device. So in our case, we have given device slash temp to a temperature sensor and that's become a topic that is assigned, that is a name address assigned to that LM35 temperature sensor in our case. So topic is a kind of name or the address given to that particular device. Payload is a message that actually flows through 
that is basically a transferred from the client one to client two right so payload is a message that actual data which we want to transfer so in our case 28 degrees celsius was a temperature value which was a payload that's been transferred that been sent by device slash temp topic if somebody subscribe so i hope you get this point publish subscribe topic and payload these are very commonly used terminologies in mqtt protocol i hope by now you understood this mqtt related terms check the link in a video description for some other MQTT and IoT related project videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see us into the next video lesson and bye bye for now.